Okay. When your car is idling, you might hear a loud banging noise from the engine, something mechanics call rod knock. It's the kind of sound that makes you worry about costly engine repairs. But don't panic just yet. Not every knocking sound means rod knock. It could be something else and figuring out the difference is key. Let's break it down. So, what is rod knock, what causes it, and how can you discern the symptoms of this engine problem? It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. What is rod knock? Rod knock is a heavy knocking noise that comes from inside the engine. It happens when the rod bearings, which connect the engine's pistons to the crankshaft, wear out or get damaged. This wear creates extra space, causing the parts to move more than they should. When the piston changes direction, the metal parts clash, making that distinct knocking sound. You'll notice rod knock gets louder as you press the gas or increase the engine's load and speed. It's often easy to recognize if you've heard it before. It sounds like loud banging from the engine especially after you rev it up and then let off the gas. This is when the sound is most obvious, leaving no doubt that something is wrong. Causes of Rod Knock Worn Bearings Rod knock is mainly caused by worn-out bearings inside the engine. These bearings help keep the pistons moving smoothly as they rotate the crankshaft, which is what sends power to your wheels. Over time, the bearings can wear down or even shift out of place, when this happens, the piston rods start to rattle against the crankshaft, which creates that distinctive knocking noise. Unfortunately, the only way to fix this problem is to replace the worn bearings. Since these bearings are located deep inside the engine, the repair can be time-consuming and costly, requiring significant disassembly of the engine. However, addressing the issue promptly is essential to prevent further damage to other parts of the engine. Poor timing. Another cause of detonation knock is incorrect engine timing. Timing refers to when the spark plugs ignite the fuel-air mixture in the cylinders, a process managed by the car's computer. If the timing is off, the spark plugs won't fire at the right moment. This can result in multiple explosions happening within the cylinders, leading to that distinct knocking sound known as detonation knock. The solution for this issue is to correct the engine timing. Adjusting the timing ensures that the spark occurs precisely when it should, preventing the multiple detonations and restoring smooth engine operation. Proper timing is crucial for the engine's performance and longevity. Bad knock sensor. A malfunctioning knock sensor can also lead to detonation knock. Luckily, this is not very common in newer cars because the computer controls key systems like the air to fuel ratio, timing, and fuel injectors. The knock sensor's job is to detect any unusual engine vibrations or conditions that could cause knocking. When it senses a problem, it signals the ECU, engine control unit, to make adjustments and prevent knocking. However, if the knock sensor is faulty, the ECU won't receive the necessary alerts. As a result, the computer won't correct the issue, and the engine might start knocking. Addressing a bad knock sensor promptly is crucial to keeping the engine running smoothly and avoiding potential damage. Low Octane A detonation knock can often be mistaken for rod knock because both produce knocking sounds from the engine. Normally, the air and fuel mixture in the engine's cylinder burns in one smooth detonation. However, detonation knock happens when the mixture ignites in more than one spot at the same time causing an uneven explosion that creates the knocking noise. One common cause of this issue is using fuel with an octane rating that's too low for your engine, especially if you drive a performance vehicle. High performance engines require higher octane fuel because it burns more evenly, preventing detonation knock. Fortunately, fixing this problem is simple. Just switch to a fuel with a higher octane rating the next time you fill up, and it should resolve the issue. Lean air to fuel mixture. Detonation knock can also happen when the engine has a lean air-fuel mixture, basically, too much air and not enough fuel. This imbalance prevents the fuel mixture from burning properly and quickly enough, leading to multiple explosions in the cylinder, which creates the knocking sound. Several issues can cause a lean mixture, including faulty oxygen sensors, malfunctioning fuel injectors, a failing fuel pump, or a bad mass airflow sensor. These components all play a role in delivering the correct ratio of air and fuel to the engine. If any of them aren't working properly, the engine struggles to maintain the balance needed for smooth combustion. 
Fixing the root of the problem, be it replacing a sensor or repairing the fuel system, will resolve the knock and help the engine run efficiently again. Bad belt tensioners or pulleys. Sometimes what sounds like engine knock isn't from the engine at all. A loose accessory belt can create a noise that's easy to confuse with knocking. This belt works by rotating as the engine runs, driving multiple pulleys connected to key components like the alternator or air conditioning. For it to run smoothly and quietly, the belt needs just the right amount of tension. If the belt becomes loose, it's usually because the tensioner, a part responsible for keeping the belt tight, isn't doing its job. Another possible issue is a bent or damaged pulley. When these problems occur, they can cause noises like rattling, slapping or clicking, which mimic engine knock. Fixing this problem is straightforward. Replacing the faulty accessory belt, tensioner or any damaged pulley will restore proper tension and eliminate the noise, ensuring your car runs quietly again. It's a simple repair compared to deeper engine issues. Rod Knock Repair Cost Fixing rod knock isn't cheap. It'll generally cost at least $2,500, and on certain cars like the Subaru Forester, the repair can go beyond $5,000 when you factor in parts and labor. That's because replacing connecting rod bearings is a complicated job. These parts are buried deep in the engine, so mechanics need to take it apart extensively. For the repair, you won't just need new connecting rod bearings. You'll also need to replace cylinder head bolts, engine gaskets, and seals. Additionally, the engine and cooler lines have to be thoroughly flushed to remove any debris. In some cases, the damage can be worse, requiring new connecting rods, pistons, timing chains, and even crankshaft or camshaft bearings. When the list of necessary parts starts growing, replacing the entire engine might end up being the more practical and cost-effective option. Hope the information is helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.